Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Spirit. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion, and this is going to be a spiritual dart number two. Okay? And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. It says, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, and this is the Lord who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which his real name is Yahweh Shai. This is him speaking. And he clearly says this, all right? And if you want the full understanding of the chapter, you can start at the first verse. And then when you get to the 24th verse, you will understand exactly why the Lord said this, okay? Matthew 15 and 24, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay. And when the Lord comes back, all right, contrary to what these people in the world think, he is coming for an elect or select group of people. Okay. And that just happens to be the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter Salakia. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 3. It says, And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and before the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. Okay, the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth, the ones that were brought back. All right. And that 144,000 is all men, the governing body of the nation of Israel. Okay? Now, does that mean only men are going to be saved? No, that does not mean that. Because when you continue to read and you get down to the ninth, uh, let's see. Okay, Salakia, Salakia. I have to go to the book of Revelation, chapter 7 and verse 9. Okay, and it speaks about what a great multitude, okay, of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues. Okay, and those that is known as the, the what the great multitude, those are Israelites. And you can connect the dots <clears throat> when you read um, Hosea 1 and 10, when it clearly tells you that um, the number of the children of Israel cannot be measured nor numbered. So that's how we know that this great multitude in Revelation, the uh, seventh chapter, the ninth verse. It's talking about Israelites. Okay. Now back to Revelation 14 and 3. Okay. That 144 is the governing body. That's all men. Okay. And we just read in Matthews uh, 15 and 24 that Yahweh Shai said he is not sent but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So when he comes back with the innumerable amount of angels, those are going to be the ones that's getting delivered. Okay. The 140 and 4,000. And also... Um, that great multitude, man. Okay, which which are going to be uh, men, women, children. Okay, whoever the Lord sees fit to be a part of His elect, but those are all Israelites, all Israelites. Okay, and guess what? All of them are not going to look like your average everyday Israelites, man. You know, the scriptures say these are they that came out of great tribulation. All right. But there's no women in the 144. Those are all men. That's the governing body. OK, but there will be women a part of the great multitude. All right. And that's the key point. That's why Yahweh Shai said, I'll read it again. Matthew 15 and 24, but I am not sent. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel and the war and the world hates <laughs> that we that we come out with this doctrine, this truth, because salvation is not for all people, contrary to what they've been taught. OK, and that's the beautiful part about being an Israelite, man, and not even all of our people are going to make it on this side. All right. So how much more to other nations receiving salvation? OK, so only Israel, man, and even within that, the elect. Okay, the 144 and the great multitude 
I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. This has been another spiritual dart. It's the brother Zion signing off. Shalom.